Hey everybody, it's Alloy. I had a spot of Red Bull before starting this tutorial. That will probably have been a bad idea, but we're going to go into it anyway. So here is the Digit's main landing page, and this is literally just dgts.app, um, and then you'll land here. If you already have an account and you've logged in before, when you click log in, the session will automatically load from your computer, like mine just did. So here's the dashboard and what it looks like on the weekend. This panel right here, typically the, these two will update almost every morning. They will be blank while they refresh and they bring in new information. A couple of things work like that and we'll, we'll run through some of them where they don't have indicators and probably some places where they do. So we're making this tutorial for a couple of reasons, but primarily because the older tutorials do not have information related to the newest UI update. So let's just run through a couple of things that are different. Here we have the welcome panel. It's very basic. Uh, you have the version where you can see the patch notes if you would like. We have server status where it shows the percentage of usage. And this is key information in case you're interested in the stability of what you're doing. Um, you don't, it, you know, for, for example, if this was hitting 95%, you would want to be a little bit wary of, um, you know, the, the speed at which you can do things that you're trying to do. Um, for example, we have nine people online. We have um, all our nodes operational right now, and we're not really even hitting high capacity. So as you can see, this is unlikely to be a problem, but we want to be honest about it where other people have been a little bit flaky. Um, I brought up Robinhood before. They have not been totally transparent about the stability issues that they have. So um, we want to honor that and make sure that you guys are aware of what's going on. So um, billing information, I am a pro member, of course, um, but you can manage it. Contact us through here where we reach out one-on-one -on, -one on Discord, okay? we when, we when it comes to canceling a subscription, we prefer it not to be accidental. We prefer it not to be someone who logged into your account for you. And in fact, we'll run through some security features that keep your account safe too, because um, we are a private community. We we allow people to sell their accounts. Even You can even sell your referral codes, okay? And we'll run into what referral codes are in just a moment. That is all okay, but we do not want people to share accounts. Um, it doesn't help the AI because if, if people are sharing accounts, then we really just have two people um, two personalities, not one training it and making it smarter. Uh, so I hope you guys understand. Now, if you click here, you'll see a graph representing all the same data. And this is helpful in case you want a visual um, example, because some people are not so much with numbers. For me, for example, if, if I want quick answers, this is very helpful. Okay. Um, same thing here for the sector graph. And it's actually creating a sign graph. So you can see movement patterns when, you know, market managers and market makers move their funds from one allocation to another. Sorry, I'm just a little bit interested in some of this data. That always happens during tutorials, so I need to stay focused. But um, here we have news from basically all the major outlets. Um, Seeking Alpha, Foreign Exchange Street, K1 Finance is new, sci-fi.com is new, we can check that out. Um, maybe interesting, so looks like it's another financial outlet. So these are all brought in by our API from Bloomberg and other sources, similar to what you would get on TD Ameritrade, just a little bit um, cleaner and always in front of you. Okay, so that was a Red Bull sit. Okay, so here we have the SEC feed. This is great information. So Better World Acquisition Corp, I don't even like that name, so I'm gonna skip that one. Um, Glass Houses, wow, a lot of acquisition corporations are filing 10 Qs. That is a little weird. So that's something I would bring up in Digits Chat if I felt like it right now, if I wasn't doing a tutorial. Um, odd little patterns like that. It could be seasonal. Um, you know, there's there's so much to learn, so much I don't know, but it's very really interesting. Okay, so here's ABC TV. I have it muted, so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and turn it on. Oh, so pretty cool information. Um, this is probably altering markets as we speak. Um, is the foundation. The foundation. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, and here we have the indices, which of course most of them are not moving. And we include Bitcoin because it's inf interesting information. It looks like we're bouncing off of 3.6 right now down to 3.5. So Bitcoin has been dipping the past couple of days, what that means. It's struggling to hold 3.6. Here is all the fundamental macro information about the economy mortgage rate, credit rates, federal rates, um, Federal Reserve rates being what they lent to banks and other major institutions. Unemployment rate, which was six, so it's actually dropped a little bit. The probability of recession, believe it or not, this number is true, less than 1%. Uh, hard to believe, but you can look into how this number is uh, figured. 
uh, you can just copy this and this probability of recession name is uh, very popular. It's very established and well known. Consumer price index, uh, CPI in other words, um, went up 2%. Apparently that's not a big deal. Depends on who you ask, okay? So here's your watch list. You can type in any ticker and I think, am I, do I have PLL on here? I do. Okay, let's think of something I don't have. I have sundial. Um, I don't, okay, let's add sundial. Just like that, sundial added to your watch list. Very easy, right? And we automatically refresh. All the numbers come in super clean, super easy. Here's the Twitter feed. I'm gonna go ahead and pause ABC News. Um, I don't want to watch Biden talk. And we have Zero Hedge and a lot of other sources, but you know, the people who tweet in the highest volume are definitely going to be the ones who show up most often. And we're always looking for folks who would be useful for the tweet feed that we could add. And um, you know, in general with this UI, we're open to criticism. So again, we have 10 people online, and I just thought we'd take a look. 10% uh, usage up from seven, bouncing around four. Still not a big deal. Okay. So a lot of people have mentioned how many UI alerts there are and sounds. And if you go to settings, you have sound, UI alerts, and chat. You can turn off chat if you don't want to be bothered by what other people are saying. You can change your theme. You have a couple of options. And again, we're looking for whatever else you want to change and be able to do from here. We're totally open to it. Here is our new dock menu on the bottom. If you feel like I've skipped some stuff, don't you worry, I will come back to it. My data is a great place to store screenshots, your reports. Back when we had Robinhood linkage, you could um, download your portfolio for tax information, save it, so I've done that. Here is my old, old balance information. Back when I was first starting out, and let's see which one this is. Kind of fun, you know, memories. And here was my guess. <laughs> I wanted to see if my guess would come true. It did a little bit earlier than I expected. So good times, uh, really good times. And you can sort also, uh, I'll go back to that. You can go to image, PDF, zip, CSV. I just happen to not have those, very easy to upload. Okay, crowd AI, you can see what other people have been doing. Movement AI, hopefully you guys are familiar, but we also talk about in other videos. Insider detection, love it. One of my favorites, right? Crowd favorite, really, um, super cool. Super cool. I mean, just awesome. Awesome stuff. 15 to 14, bounce around 13. All these bearish signals were just absolutely correct. It's unbelievable. Um, love that module so much. I can I can talk about it all day. Uh, options calculator. We have tutorials about this. We don't don't worry. If you have complaints, uh, so do I. We're working on making it easier. This information is a lot to take in. It's hard to flex around on mobile. Okay, so we're working on that too. Um, don't worry, we're giving this a lot of love in the future. We're gonna take care of it. Here's the dark pool, always, always valuable information. We have a whole tutorial about this, so definitely check that out. Very important stuff, very important. I mentioned I would talk about timings, okay? So we have a couple of modules here where you can actually see which time um, you know, regulated data comes in and the AI crunches it, and then we have kind of a time window because depending on how much data it is and what kind of day we've had, especially if Fridays can take a little bit longer. Um, it's actually suspicious when it comes in really early on Fridays. So that time window is based around AI mechanics and other things. Now, that is not all. Click on menu and we have a bunch of micro features if you want. Treasury macro, you can see how the gut, whoa, no wonder equities are up, huh? Uh, so what this means is the treasury uh, yields, if they go down, typically people sort their money into um, stocks and our government has not been making very many returns. Uh, for people over the past couple of decades and just trending lately they're going down which explains why the market's up um you know maybe a bull would say a treasury bull would say this is going to go up soon which would which would mean equities are going to go down uh but this could we could see january 2021 20, 21 levels you know if we if the market keeps pumping like this so very interesting glad i checked this out always a distraction like i said um technical analysis is a pretty cool we can look up amd because it's a pretty fun one to keep track of with ta if you need help with any of this, check out our wiki, which is linked right here, okay? Um, performance matrix is what you've seen here. Options profit calculator is in beta. I don't wanna go there, but we've talked about it in another video. Industry clusters is um, this one, okay? So um, machine learning, we have, yeah, movement predictor and crowd wisdom research. We have discounted cash flow value. So what is AMD worth according to what they're providing to the market? Um, a little bit over. So if you were bullish on AMD, this would be one of your justifications for going long, okay? Company insights, similar situation, okay? You can get a lot of information about a company. You can get insider information, okay? You can do, you can do a lot through this module. If you know what you're doing, 
you can get insider ceo trades transactions from oh so some stocks won't and we'll go ahead and clean that up but if you want to know which stocks are related and competitive with amc you can do so through this module too company insights is a great module um stock screener this is literally pick them pick whichever one you want okay so you sort by beta which means fluctuation in price over basically a year um and uh with moving month averages kind of complicated math stuff but don't you worry about it just higher means more fluctuation generally speaking uh, market cap in millions in case you want to find that you know that diamond in the rough maybe or you want to go on the blue chips and you're looking at dividends or something okay um volume in millions similar situation by trade volume daily you know what are you interested in, in terms of its popularity um and the hype around it okay so very cool tool if you're just bored and you need to find new stocks earnings calendar um we can see daily well it's going to be hard on a sunday right but um generally speaking if you were looking for earnings plays you could go here and find out which stocks are doing what um very cool tool and um, a lot of these are free any that have a star next to them means you must be pro to use it but earnings calendar is free and we have a lot of other cool tools too and um you know critics might say that um a lot of these things are free but i think the point is keeping it all in one place one app is pretty luxurious having it just a click away from any place you are is uh, just faster i don't want to wait to make trade decisions i don't know anyone who does so this is pretty cool stuff in our opinion um again my data cancel my subscription news and patches where you see the patch notes and here's another place to change your theme okay so and if you have an android uh device you can download the android app so that includes a tesla um that includes a couple of things um so we'll just brush over live covid dashboard which is dark but uh important okay I used this um, early on. This is when I knew when to dive back into the market, when to get out. Um, will it be relevant moving into the future? I don't know, and that's why we still have it here, because we don't know. Um, you can watch yourself a movie about what happened to this country, and it's very fascinating. It's very interesting stuff. Might give you anxiety. I'll close it, don't you worry. Let's get rid of that one. And uh, we have coin flip. It's just fun, all right? Don't put, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't think, do anything silly. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Digits Creator is a very cool tool, um, but it's more for blog writers and advanced um, content creators. So if you're interested in that, definitely uh, you know give a shout out. Let us know that you're interested in that. But we're going to save that for another tutorial uh, another day, just probably a whole different video. So, um, and if you didn't know already, here is the Discord link. This is how you join our community in case you want a little bit of extra exposure and uh, you know, a little bit of involvement from other people and help from the community. So um, without further ado, I'll show you the graph for any equity. You can really dive in and get some woo, granular information. You know what I'm saying? You can get a good idea of how a stock moves and um, do it pretty quickly, okay? And uh, that's pretty cool. Here's a watch list button and it'll pop up right here. Just like we were talking about, um, we got high performance labels. Some of what I'm saying at this point is Red Bull fueled and repetitive compared to some of our other tutorials, but I'm really hoping that this gets everyone on board. Um, now I'm scared to open up chat because I think people are probably asking questions, but I'll do that after this tutorial. But if you don't know, we do have a public chat window here. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna have regrets about that. And it's um, yeah, really useful if you just wanna talk to people or completely useless depending on how people feel. So I hope this is helpful. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Join the Discord. Definitely is the best way to get a hold of us. And I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your weekend. We're going to continue adding features. We're really excited to have new people on board now that we've gone public. And um, last, I'll say it, but we're open to criticism as usual. Um, love you. Keep making money with us. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.